Located deep within the Ayrshire countryside sits the strange and picturesque village of Sorn. But all is not what it seems on first glance. Tucked away in this idyllic setting lies a street with many houses, but very few occupants. So this is village of Sorn, East Ayrshire. Population around about 350. Everything seems to be shut here. Old phone box. Obviously no phone, it's been removed. You get the Sorn in, in the distance there. That strange wee place. So this is the river here. It's meant to be a good place for fishing, so on. Certainly right at the edge of your doorstep, isn't it? So this is the then. This was closed in 2022, I think. I believe the school was uh, destined to be shut in 2007 as well. But I think that remained open. There's really not a lot open here now, so... So Sorn Cemetery, graveyard. Interesting. Bridge over there. Pretty quirky looking, isn't it? So just heading up this wee path here onto this bridge. These look very old, very old, in fact, some scriptions are kind of worn off these ones. To preserve from oblivion the fate of George Wood, who was shot at Tinkhorn Hill for his adherence to the word of God. On the Scottish Covenanta Memorials Association's website, it describes George Wood's grave as located to the rear of Sorn Church. The original stone and its replacement have been built into the church wall. George Wood was killed around 1688 at the age of 16 years old. He was shot by one of Craigie's troopers. The Covenanters were members of a 17th century Scottish religious and political movement and supported the Presbyterian Church of Scotland. Look at this here. I can't read the inscription in there, it's worn off, but too close. Inscription that one's worn off. So it does advise here, it says, please be advised that there may be a number of dangerous headstones within the boundaries of the burial ground. Cemetery users should exercise caution within the vicinity of all headstones. So, Identifying as a lot, it's been uh, dislodged, fallen down, etc., and crumbling. Some of the headstones here are dislodged, bent over, fallen down. These ones here, 
just look very old. So this is the entrance to Usorn Castle. There's no public access. I believe it's open several weeks a year. Um, to weddings, etc. I'm not going to get in here, so I respect that, but it's way down the bottom there. No public access. Strange and picturesque it may be, but Sorn hides another side. A street with many homes, but barely any occupants. Sorn holds the nickname, The Ghost Town. In 2007, 16 homes were built. This estate was named Willmill Place. Construction started on the estate in 2007, with three of the houses being completed, then sold. But following the credit crunch, the construction company went bust. 17 years later, the ghostly shell of the houses still remain, with half-painted plastered walls and unfitted toilets and baths inside. The abandoned remainder of this estate has been left to rot, only segregated by Harris fencing. Villagers were sold a dream, but are living in a nightmare, as one newspaper article reported. These are the houses in Sorn, built in 2007, left abandoned since then. You can see it's been fenced off here. Company went bust. This one looks abandoned as well. There's a few houses occupied in the street, but they're nice big houses. I think they're worth about 300,000 apparently. Is that right? Mm -hmm. I think, yeah. 300,000. Um, these are just left empty. It's crazy. Even the street lamps are different here. Not usual town or city ones. <laughs> 